Hello, this is Easy, and I got this little macro that you can download and try, uh, but it has to be for version 2019.1.2. All right, it'll come with a uh, sample file you can just load right here. It's called a split demo head, and we'll load that, which I already had loaded. And also, you need to go ahead and take your macro, and as you can see here, I have it right here okay uh, this is in set in the macro folder um, you can sign hotkeys uh, I find out the hotkeys don't work very well with this so I customized the UI and brought the button down here so I could use it uh, for the next step we'll go to the transformation and we're gonna go down here to split I'm gonna set this to number three all right then I'll press the F on the keyboard to frame that up as you can see, it looks like I got one here at the low polygons, and the next one here is the higher polygons. Um, basically, uh, how this is set up is uh, if I select this one here and go down to the uh, geometry here, and then we'll go to, let's see where that was. Uh, I have this dynamic turned on, and the other one, it, it is turned off. Kind of, it'll look kind of backwards, so just keep that in mind. It's turned off. Uh, I just went ahead and, and uh, loaded up this demo soldier and reconstructed to the lowest, and I pressed cage to make that really boxy look to it. This will give us an indication how we can uh, see how we're modeling high and low subdivisions at the same time. Okay, how this works is. Uh, you stroke on it one time and that's all you're allowed to it doesn't if you rotate the model this is not going to work okay <clears throat> and the second thing is when you stroke on the model and do something with it let's say an example we'll press this one here what you would not want to do is pull up and let go of the mouse button and try something else and pull down all right control z control z so basically what we'll do is one click only. So if I click here, um, I can move it up and down wherever I want. But as long as I don't let go of the mouse button and try coming down here and do this at the same time. Control Z that. So let's see how this is going to work. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see if I can kind of scale this up. Then I'm going to press the easy split screen. And when I do, you'll see it update over here. So if I come down here bring us down here like this and press split screen and I also have a I don't know if I mentioned this but in the uh, below the video there will be a zip file you can download to test this file and do whatever you want all right uh, this also works with all kinds of stuff so it's kind of a uh, kind of playing around to see what you can make come up with uh, we're gonna turn on this uh, sculptress here and we're gonna come out like this and see what we can come up with and then we get something like that so we have a low polygon and a high one and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, press the smooth right here with the shift key and click and I'm just gonna smooth this out a little bit here It may, um, since my screen recorder is on, it's probably taking a little extra time to do this, so um, you can see it update here. Uh, for some reason that you want to go back to the beginning, you'll have to select here, select here, and back here. Uh, when you load this up, you'll notice how this is set up inside the macro. Is uh, We always want to have this top one selected first, um, if you ever decide that you want to mess with this because uh, the script um, the way it runs is it switches between these two so it's best to start with the top one here then this is when we're going to be activating so we'll just do it one more time and I uh, gave you a little example here I think there's one called inflate somewhere yeah we'll do this one here I'll just do a quick sample here one 
See, if I click here and click down here, that's two clicks. It's only going to um, calculate the last click. So I clicked at the top and one by the cheek. So basically what's going to happen is it's going to skip the top over here. So just keep that in mind. As you can see right here. So what we'll do is go back like that. And then we're going to do this. We'll just go like this. Click. And like this. And click. Alright, I think that's going to wrap it up, and thank you very much.